So I rattle this, I tip, and it comes out just like so. And the switch is seamless. the Tic Tac box. All I have to do is tip it out and it's already switched. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another tutorial video. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a switching device that's disguised as a Tic Tac box. That is right, this might look completely innocent and ordinary, but it's actually hiding a devastating magical secret. You can place folded pieces of paper in here, playing cards, torn corners, banknotes, lottery tickets, whatever you like, but when you tip it out, it can be switched for anything of your choice. It is super easy to do, super practical. Let's dive into this and learn how to make the tactical switching box. All right, so here is everything you need to make the Tic Tac switching box. Of course, first things first, really, really obvious. You're gonna want a Tic Tac box, that kind of goes without saying. Also got some little magnets and the things that we want to switch. So we've got some paper and playing cards. We'll come to those in a second. You're also going to want some double-sided tape and some regular tape and some super glue. And last but not least, of course, you're going to need to sell your soul to the devil. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking, you don't need any super glue, but with these items right here, we're gonna make the switching device. First things first, let's pop the lid off the Tic Tac box and you're going to want a tiny little bit of regular tape, just some normal tape right here. Take one of your magnets, and these once again are these super thin neodymium, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but they are the super thin magnets, literally a millimeter thin. I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the description. So if you wanna support the channel and use that link, I get a little commission at no extra cost. These are the magnets for making gimmicks. And you want the magnet to be towards the upper end of this sticker on this inside wall right here. Next thing you need are the things that you want to switch. So I'm just gonna start with the paper and we're gonna take one of these little folded bits of paper and notice that these are folded identically. If you're gonna switch anything, the two need to look identical. We'll start with the paper. Stick the magnet down. You'll notice how it's right in one corner and then fold the piece of paper as you usually would, press it down nice and tight. When I drop this in, it magnetizes and it's concealed behind the sticker right here. So what this leaves you with is something where if I put this in the box and I tip, this isn't gonna fall out, it's gonna get caught on that magnet. If you want to do this with playing cards, you absolutely can. It's just, you will need a stronger magnet. With the magnets that I'm using, the thinness of these magnets, it's not enough to hold the weight of a playing card, which is why I'm using paper here. These are much, much lighter than thick, dense playing card. But what you can do is you can use a torn corner of cards instead. So rather than a folded, playing card, you can do it as a torn corner switch. With the torn corner variation, take your corner, place it into the box just like so, drop your magnet, this will tell you the orientation the magnet needs to be in, and then for this, just a little bit of regular tape, place it over just like this, and then similar kind of deal, except this time you have a torn corner in a Tic Tac box that won't fall out, it will get stuck to that magnet. And it's this mechanism that is going to be used in the switch. Now, for the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the folded bits of paper because personally, that's what I prefer, but just know that this is limitless. Anything that can be held by that magnet and fit in a Tic Tac box, you can switch. Whether it's banknotes or lottery tickets or predictions or playing cards, whatever it is, have fun with this idea. But now let's learn the switch. And the setup is really simple, just make sure the magnets are oriented the correct way and that the piece sticks behind the sticker like this and then push it down into the box. And you should be able to wiggle it around just a little bit and this piece can go into finger palm. So if you don't know finger palm, it's really easy, you just hold it into your knuckles like so and you can use this hand to demonstrate that there is a piece of paper inside the box. The reason I use this hand is because this hand is already curled and if I was using the other hand from the beginning, 
it would look a little bit strange. What's, what's this hand doing? Whereas if it's in this hand, you've got perfect justification for your hand being in that position. Now, in a moment, we are going to use this hand separately, but the cupping there, the justification for your hand being like this, is that it's ready to receive the piece that you tip out. So a little bit of psychology, I think it's really important. So once you've got this piece of paper in here, you're holding it with this hand, you can show, you can be quite free here. You can almost show this hand empty. I wouldn't draw attention to it verbally, but you can just sort of demonstrate that your hands are empty. There's almost two moves that are gonna happen at the same time here. One is just the tipping motion so that the piece gets stuck. And the other one is me sort of pretending to catch this piece. And there's not really a set move to this. I just sort of open my hand. So it's in finger palm and I just kind of release my fingers. <laughs> I try not to drop it, but I can add a little bit of motion. I can add almost a little bit of like it's just fallen into the hand and I can just sort of bounce it around. Or if you prefer, I can sort of bring it to the fingertips like so. A couple of different ways of doing it. So I rattle this, I tip and it comes out just like so. And the switch is seamless. And especially with that little bit of motion, like it's just fallen. Because if you were to actually do this, something that I often recommend is if you're replicating something, you should know what it feels like to actually do that thing, not just replicate it. So take the real ungimmicked piece, place it inside, and yeah, the switch should look exactly like that. Maybe do that a few times. Get used to how it feels to do it without the gimmick and then add the gimmick back in, if that makes sense, just so that the two look identical. But back to the gimmick, that is essentially version one, where you tip and you reveal just like so. But there's a couple of other ways of doing it. Another variation I really like is where you tip the box forwards, just like so, because you end up with the box upside down, which further proves that there's nothing inside the box. I just like it, feels a lot more natural, uh, so I'll teach you this variation if I reset. So I can hold the box in this hand once again, I can transfer here and tip, and as I tip, this hand is gonna come across and cover that opening. And the hand here is actually doing two things. Obviously, it's catching the piece, but it's also hiding the magnet, because don't forget, we've got this magnet here, and if I were to just tip from a distance, they would see the magnet. So your hand is nice and close to the opening, and then you tip fully, and they see the piece disappear downwards with a shake, it disappears downwards and it attaches to the magnet. As soon as that's done, I can continue tipping the box upside down and reveal that piece. And again, I can add a little bit of motion to it. And the reason I continue to tip downwards is so that I'm not left in this situation where it's not tipped enough and they can see that there's still a piece inside there. So I continue this way and I can show just like so. However, maybe you're not a fan of tipping the box and having the piece fall out dramatically and catching it. Maybe you want to reach slowly into the box and pull it out that way. Maybe that is what's more natural and that is totally possible. First things first, you need to rotate the box so that the front sticker and the magnet is nearest to you. And this piece, rather than being in finger palm, is actually going to be behind that front sticker just like so, and I can pinch this with my thumb. So I can be really, really open-handed. That is one of the benefits of this version. I can really show there's nothing in my hands. Then I take two fingers, I reach inside, get your mind out of the gutter, and I pull this piece upwards, and simply I'm going to drag it towards the magnet. So from the side here, you can see that piece gets magnetized, and then I just pull this back piece, and it just looks like it's coming out of the box. So once again, from the start, this is being pinched back here. I reach inside, I take this piece, I drag it up towards the magnets, and then I take the one from the back. Just feels slightly different. It feels like a different switch, even though it's the same mechanism. I, I enjoy both, but personally, the speed and the casualness of tipping it out, I think gives you a better excuse to get rid of this box and put it in your pocket. When you're taking your time, there's, there's a lot of time for them to see that something isn't right. And I think having that moment happen quicker for me personally is better, but again, that is up to you. I think both versions are valid. And there we have it for this tutorial. It feels good to be back in the flow of tutorials. I've missed doing this. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below on your way out. That is always really appreciated. It does help the channel out for some reason. And if you're new and you like magic or you're a magician, then make sure to subscribe. I do anything and everything to do with magic, so I'm sure you'll have a good time. And if you want to learn even more advanced magic, then I teach some of my most powerful secrets in tutorials, lectures, and masterclasses over on The Magician Club, which is a membership that starts at just $5 a month. And for that, you get access to every single new lecture, masterclass, and tutorial on there. 
I personally think it's a great deal. Hit the link in the description or go to themagician.club and sign up today. That is massively appreciated. If you want to do that, completely optional. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.